Welcome in, ladies and gentlemen. We have got a great match right here. We're going to be uh, using Blastoise once again. I did, of course, have the kind of first impressions video earlier on this channel for Blastoise, and there are some differences, I guess we should say, in now being a little bit more comfortable with him, and so I did definitely want to discuss that. But also, just, you got to see this amazing game, man. Like, even from the early onset of the game, we have a few, like, rocky moments We're just right here in the earliest part of the game, but for real, like, it goes really well as time passes basically and so we are going to skull bash uh, opting for that instead of water gun one kind of principle i discussed and people should know of course about when you're using squirtle here early on and trying to get uh, all these wild pokemon to get that early farm you do want to make sure that you know water gun is going to push them back you know so you might push that core fish for example when you're in the top lane and you're fighting over that one core fish that's kind of in that middle spot with the other squad you could potentially push it back with water gun into their territory a little bit more so, like pushing it closer to their squad. And so anyway, you can see that that got a little bit rough right there. We actually were pretty much on the brink, you know, just one or two more hits and we would have been out of there. And so they're still going to go aggro on that. We could have possibly done something if Pikachu was standing on that goal right now, like with me right there. We could have possibly actually, you know, made them pay for that because they were pretty uh, in our faces, I would say. And so ultimately the best thing, though, not to die. We don't want to give them any early satisfaction, any early points like that. And man, that's score bunny is so low too so like really we could mobilize and make some plays here but it's all right you know again the best thing would just be for us to be leveling up unfortunately they did get the bees you know early on right here that's often kind of an early battle here on this top lane especially where farming for these wilds is a little bit differently of course than if you're on the bottom lane and so right here we're doing okay you know things aren't going horrible nobody's died yet or anything like that on our squad so that's fine pikachu is a pretty good ally actually to have right now for squirtle it's like we both both have, you know, pretty decent range and everything. Kind of a good early move set. And then look at that. That electro web from Pikachu can get punished by me making that KO through the wall. You can skull bash through those divider walls right there with the grass. So absolutely perfect. I was able to just hide out right there in that grass. Pikachu really made that all possible. So definitely wonderful early game KO. And so then we're going to rotate down, of course, to bottom lane to prepare for the Dreadnought. You could do this a little bit later, per se. You know, it's like we haven't even even gotten the timers for Rotom and Dreadna yet. By that, I mean, of course, that little 30-second timer that appears on the minimap just popping up right now. And so we are, of course, going to run into the Blastoise on the other team. Their player, of course, it's a War Turtle right now. Level 6, so they are just slightly above me, and they've got this Lucario standing on that goal, but I do have the backing of my entire squad. Look at this as we're just kind of trying to break them down. It would be really good to get those KOs right now, or even fine if it just takes a good, you know, 6, 10 seconds, something like that, because that timer on the Dreadna uh, especially now as we're talking about it is starting to get down three two one there it goes and i was going to get that citrus of course pikachu is going to take that we'll just hang out on the goal for a little bit look for our opportunities right there we were able to actually assist a little bit with the lucario having water spout is sort of the direction that i'm most open to changing with my blastoise game right now but definitely when i can turn skull bash into surf i do surf for sure and so as it stands you know since i'm still an early blastoise player uh deciding between water spout and hydro pump still is that little dilemma i guess you could call it a lucario right here trying to take us all on a little bit ballsy but that's okay we all broke the goal we took it out man so that was uh, very good for our squad this presents us of course the opportunity to go for dreadnought they do have that war turtle probably looking to steal but no i actually kind of miss with that skull bash which is fine it gets me in a good position and so i'm right there for the assist the pikachu is going to take that and so as this game keeps on going i've got to tell you you got to keep the eyes glued man we are about to destroy Destroy. Like a lot of characters that I play, you know, I seem to do better on the late game. I'm sure that, you know, actually Blastoise is not kind of exclusive to late game. Like, uh, I got a Gardevoir kind of in my heart. That's the character that I seem to be uh, most loving of and gravitating towards in Pokemon Unite. But ironically, never had any attachment to Gardevoir in any of the past Pokemon games. And I played them all, except being dub, actually. So this is a great opportunity because I can see that, of course, we got Pikachu going after the opposing Venusaur. And so that Venusaur is going to try to pull a runaround right here. Had their Unite move but no not today man look at that surf absolutely incredible you can see the distance and the range on that surf perfect for cutting off that venusaur as it tries to escape cannot do it and that my friends is the beginning of the end am i right
And so here's where on the opponent's goal, I did try to score, but of course this Raboot's gonna stop it, but I can actually help out Pikachu a lot. I do try to score one more time just because we have our, well, our HP was mostly intact. We weren't completely full, but definitely looking good. And we are the beefy, bulky Blastoise. And so that was great though, because I was able to assist. I let the Pikachu have it. Basically having Surf, I can knock back the opponents really far and obviously get every benefit from Surf out of that. So wonderful as a defender to be able to, uh, of course, do my job, help out at those goal posts. Pikachu gonna score than Venusaur right now, trying to be a little bit overzealous, I would say, because look at this, me and Greninja are gonna be ganging up on that. Greninja's got a 50, so it's very, I would say it's imperative to go ahead and let Greninja score right here, and then we try to rotate as fast as we can. That 50's not gonna break it, but with my 23, absolutely gonna break it. So there we go. Good job, Greninja. Good job, me, I guess. Yeah, why not? <laughs> and so now you can see that me, my allies, we know what to do. We're gonna go ahead and rotate this down. I'm gonna go ahead and surf this thing, just so we can not only defeat that, but surf actually lets me travel a little bit too, and uh, the cooldown should be ready for me when I need it. And so anyway, we're down here. Dreadnought gonna be the prize. We're all looking for it, so I'm gonna try to keep out all of the opponents right here. We can see we've got a mostly full orange squad. We've just got four of them, so it's not the entire squad, but right here, this looks like it's gonna be a sacrifice, and it somewhat is because I'm aware, and I'm gonna use that Unite move, man, that Hydro Typhoon. Boom, gonna take out, of course, one or two of them with the help of Greninja. Look at this, Greninja going absolutely insane on our squad, man. So that was perfect. That Hydro Typhoon, that Unite move, to me, was the catalyst to actually stop everybody from getting to that Dreadnought. And so it was great. That was a perfect position for me to be in. Even if I got KO'd, it's absolutely the right move. Obviously, I would have loved to survive that somehow. But it was better that I did everything that I could just to try to stop them from getting down to my squad who was taking on that Dreadnought. So things looking good, except for, of course, the opponents did get the Rotom right here on the top lane, and so I'm just gonna defeat some of these wilds. Well, just one. And then walk up here. We've got a, you know, arsenal of abilities too to uh, help us with the Rotom as well, so this is gonna be great. So, one thing we can do is right there, Surf, we can knock it back almost to its original pathway. I mean, you see how far we knocked it back. Water Spout, able to have that slowing effect, is gonna help going up against the Rotom as well. You know, anything that we can do to just sort of slow its process down or completely stop it from hitting our goal is very good, and so here we are. Looks like everything's open right now uh, until I actually arrive there at this goal looking to try to drop in a 34 one thing that I just you know know as a unite player one of my weaknesses you could say is just that I don't always score when I actually have the opportunity to do so and so it's something I'm trying to be a little bit more conscious of but obviously when you're just all alone like that your plans can get foiled and now as I see on the map you know I'm just trying to keep a good eye on the mini map my thought was to rotate down try to score with my squad and then I noticed of course Pikachu out here battling against this Venusaur very good takedown by Pikachu right there but we also have the Cinderace and so I am going to miss that one surf right there which is unfortunate but it definitely felt right to know like hey I need to assist the Pikachu unfortunately it did get KO'd so that was the undesirable outcome of that would have liked to protect them fully and so the Pikachu did KO the Venusaur so I mean hey maybe we had a bit of a trade off there I wasn't able to stop the Cinderace but then I did notice Cinderace was going down to the bottom you can see that on the minimap right now and so I hightail it out of here I get that surf and we are now in that last under two minutes we have a huge lead so this is good but if I score right now that 47 is not just going to be 47 it's going to turn to 94 and so we almost break that goal so what a goal is right right there very good and so I do need to make my way over to the Zapdos skirmish but you can obviously see this Lucario definitely had me in his sights uh, he's going to pull out everything that they've got this is very good for me because I'm obviously pulling away this Lucario you know I'm just I'm putting a stop to them trying to put a stop to my team who did actually get that Zapdos KO wonderful so we've got the extra points we've got the goals disabled. While it would be nice for me to go ahead and drop in, I know I've got a 20 right now. I, it was more imperative that my allies did get the drop. So, you know, we've got our Venusaur right there just getting 100 points. We've got a lot going on, and this is very good for me is that I'm taking away a lot of the opposing squad. I mean, there's at least three right here, and so if I can take them away from any of that action, it's great because they're not going to be defending their goals, and obviously they're all wasting their time on just me, who then, of course, went back to our goal, got the jump on them because I had the help from my allies, dude. First Greninja, Pikachu as well, and so now one of the best things would be if I can do my next goal, which of course you can see that I've got this 50 right here, and so we've got a little bit under a minute, and so we are gonna go ahead and try to drop that in. Something often, you know, to be expecting that someone's gonna meet you there when you got this 50 like this. It could be nerve-wracking, but look at that. We've got a total team wipe, and they could actually super jump on top of me if I don't get this fast enough, and so this will be great because look at that. We're gonna see. It says, what a goal. Scoring in that 50 felt great, of course, because it turns to 100, obviously. I was about to head back and just kind of defend, but uh, of course I see Pikachu as his own 50 right here, and so I'm going to do everything I can to try to, you know, protect this main last goal right there, or more so protect my Pikachu from everybody else on that main last goal.
its goal. And so, unfortunately, Pikachu is going to fall right there. So it's just, I think, you know, having the numbers, but also they're right there in their base. So it's like, we're not invincible. You know, I, I did everything I could and I definitely uh, did what was worth it. I, I pushed them back with Surf. And, you know, there are people on their squad that had high points that they didn't get to drop in. And so this was uh, definitely good. I think all around, great game, you guys. So look at this. Time is up right here. We'll go ahead and see the score. We got 700 on purple, 171 on orange, completely blowing them out of the water. I was a massive fan of Blastoise after this game. You know, I had finally kind of uh, come out of my shell or maybe stayed in my shell because look at this as a Blastoise. Gonna get that MVP. This was only my third match ever playing as Blastoise in this game. I had never gotten to play it in the beta or anything like that in those early days. You can see on the breakdown, I kind of had goals in most stretches of the game. So we did really well with the scoring, which again, I said was, you know, originally my weakness in this game, but we also got some assists. We got some KOs. Beautiful. I definitely appreciate anybody who subscribes, and I'll catch you guys on the next vid, and thanks for viewing.